Hey there, my name is Anthony Romano and today I'm going to tell you about flatness on keto and if you have to worry about getting smaller or if you're going to look like you don't lift anymore <laughs> when you start a ketogenic diet. So, some people are asking me about this constantly, some people are completely sideswiped by this. But the main thing and the main topic of this video is the flatness effect that first happens when you start a ketogenic diet. So, for those of you who don't know, when you start a keto diet and you cut out carbs, what's going to happen is you are going to lose some water retention in your muscles. So this doesn't mean you're going to lose any muscle, it doesn't mean you're going to lose any strength. It's simply a loss of water retention due to cutting out carbohydrates and also due to your body flushing out some electrolytes when you have such little insulin running through your bl blood, <laughs> through your veins. So when you have the, this electrolyte depleting effect, which only happens when you're trying to adapt, and this is also why you have to just get more salt and more sodium and more electrolytes in your food when you're on a ketogenic diet, when you are consuming more salt, this will counteract the water retention effect. So right away, you don't have to worry about this. But for some people who are more serious about their bodybuilding, for who are more in tune with how they look in terms of their muscle depth and deepness and how thick they look, they might notice this. Okay, so if you're one of those people who's very in tune with your body, then you will definitely notice this at first. And this is a natural side effect of the ketogenic diet. However, it doesn't mean that you're losing your muscle. It just means that you're losing water because carbs retain water. And your only way of retaining water at this point is by getting more sodium and more electrolytes in your diet. And this is normal. Eventually, after you become fat adapted, you are going to start storing more carbs in your muscles, okay? Your body is going to create carbs through a process called gluconeogenesis where it basically takes excess protein that you're eating or the actual small bits of carbs that you're getting from greens, and it will store those as carb energy in your muscles. From there, you basically have the best of both worlds because you have fat energy, fatty acids running through your body systemically, and then you also have carb energy stored in your muscles. So this is going to be great for you because you're going to have great slow burning and moderate burning energy sources through the fat and ketones and then you're going to have great quick burning energy to be available at all times down the line but in terms of how this reflects in your levels of water retention it simply means that you're going to have more water and more carbohydrate energy in your muscles so you're never going to look as full as you did if you just pounded back a sh unlimited sushi dinner okay a buffet okay you're never going to look that full in terms of your muscle thickness okay that's not going to be there even after you're fat adapted but at first you are going to appear flatter and that is the main concern of this video so if you are concerned about losing muscle that's not going to happen you're actually less likely to lose muscle on a ketogenic diet because when you have ketones in your blood you're less likely to use protein this is something that is a scientific fact you can google it people are less likely to lose their own muscle and their body has less reason to use its own muscle when there are ketones in your blood and this makes sense because your body doesn't want to turn protein into fat it it's much easier for your body to turn protein into glucose and this is much more likely to happen when you're on a carb metabolism not on a fat metabolism or a keto metabolism so Hopefully this gave you some insight as to how flatness affects you on a ketogenic diet, what that means for your muscle loss, if you're going to lose any, or if you're going to lose strength. And the only strength effects will be, let's say you're not hydrated well and you first start a ketogenic diet, you might lose strength, but I've had people who tell me they actually feel like they've gained strength even in the beginning, even before they're adapted. It's simply an individual basis and even if you notice any strength decrease, it's nothing that you can't fix by hydrating more and adding in more electrolytes. So leave me your comments and your questions. I'll answer them. Also, join my 60-day keto transformation challenge. I have a free training plan and free meal plan in the description to help you with 
doing that it's completely free and you can win prizes and a personalized training plan from me so <laughs> hopefully this video answered your questions if you have any more find the links to my other videos most popular ones are in the description of my videos thanks a lot my name is anthony romano peace Oh,